Jane is in a lot of trouble. Because last we saw her, I know. she was what in handcuffs. A jerk. <laughs> yeah, well, I was trying to tell you something. Um, yeah, it, that was heavy. It was a heavy scene to film. It was a hard scene to film. Uh, anytime him and I are in a scene together that's like emotionally heavy, everybody cries. And then, and then it's like, it's kind of awesome because they're like, dude, I'm kidding, I'm acting, but it's, yeah, it's heavy. Um, we got a good chemistry going with the characters, you know. Um, this fake lash, I swear to God, is about to fly off that way. I, I can sort of see you. I have like, you're kind of blurred out on that side. Um, sorry. I have had no sleep. I've had a lot of coffee. Let me get back to it. Okay, Jane. Um, yeah, so at the end, uh, it's, yeah, it's very heavy, very devastating. Um, we take off in the first uh, episode back of season two. I had no idea what's happening is going to happen. Um, I thought I would just, I thought, I guess I assumed where it would go from there. Jane goes to jail. And I was like, cool. Kind of shaved my head. And they're like, no. I was like, all right. Um, so uh, it, there's a time cut. And what has happened to Jane in that time cut is extremely devastating. And was some of the hardest stuff I've ever had to film, emotionally and physically. Um, so, and it really will ground everybody that's watching it. Will find it very hard to watch. It's very, it's very violent. It's very rough. Um, so where we go from there is she has a breaking point, and she's like, no more. And she starts to take charge. And it's been a really cool arc because in the beginning she's just looking to everybody else, like, you know, help me. I don't know who I am. And now she's like, you know what? I'm going to help myself. I'm going to figure this out. And she goes into like, it's almost like the moment that Jason Bourne has where he's like, I'm not doing this anymore. It's my, I'm going to lead my own path. Um, and I've always identified with that movie in general. And now that I'm playing a character like this, even more so. Um, that was, probably didn't answer what you asked. Oh, it did. Totally okay. did. I was trying to cover the bases because we've got like a little bit of time. Uh, how are you? I remember you. I'm well. Fantastic. I kind of remember most of you. You I'm new. had, yeah, I was like, I would have remembered that. I was trying to say that his character Kurt didn't do any kind of therapy after all that traumatic stuff in last season. But maybe your character might have indulged in some during the three month hiatus. So is she going to seek any kind of treatment, or is she doing some other sort of? Uh, let me answer it. Well, okay. Let me just say there was. I wouldn't call what is going on with her over those three months therapy. <laughs> At all. <laughs> good answer. Uh, and leave it at that. Okay, for the end. <laughs> Last season, um, the Cade storyline was yes. kind of left open. That's going to return in season yes. two. Can you talk at all about where that's going? I actually, How are you gonna, I want to talk about it, but I can't because I don't read ahead, and so I'm not really sure. But I love the guy who played Cade, so I was like, can we get him back in general? You know, because he's funny. Cool. <laughs> um, I also asked that Rich.com come back, and I think he will. Uh, so, I mean, the guy is a ham in person, too. I was like, he's one of my favorite people. Um, but uh, that storyline does come back in, and it actually the weight of what Kate is and who he is it is a very big part of the season. Yeah. So my father is a huge fan. <laughs> so what do you think, and, and that really intrigues me, what do you think um, appeals to both the young and old view, like older viewers? I think it's just that I think it's just that we have so much for everybody because I, I've had I've had eight year old girls come up and have face paint like you know like for Christmas this happened over Christmas I said look I'm like Jane and then I thought like you want to watch and I was like where is your mom because I was like we gotta have a chat um, but it's you know it's one of those things where it seems to be reaching a lot of people for, like a wide audience and it's because we have real relationships it's a heightened concept but it's real relationships real heartache real devastation. It's got you know action, which is fun. Keeps you know people that like the physical side of stuff interested. But all the action makes sense. We don't just blow up stuff or hurt somebody for just fun. You know, it, it, it's a, it's always uh, poignant in the storyline. So I think, and it's smart. You have it's a mystery. It's a puzzle, and people like to figure things out because they feel accomplished after it. At least I do. Um, so that part, we don't spoon feed the audience. You know, we like you to keep thinking and. And, and then we like to like throw a monkey wrench in what you thought. Um, but uh, but again, the first season back, all the questions in season one are completely answered for real, which is crazy um, and awesome. And then we kind of do almost like a reset or a new journey. It's like a sequel, and then we go off into season two, which is great. And this will be Jane taking charge, which is awesome.